David uh, on behalf of Trinity Sport. Um, so as usual, today's class is just going to really focus around this kind of midsection here, abs, obliques, lower back and some glutes. Um, today we're going to do it by combining certain exercises in pairs um, that will really target and kind of obliterate certain areas. So your first, each section will have a, a designated purpose. Um, before we get going, we're just going to, all you're going to need is a mat and a little bit of space. Um, you don't really need any equipment. Uh, we're just going to do two or three quick stretches to get loose before we get going. So I want you kneeling up nice and high so you're not sitting down. Nice and high on your knees. We're just going to slowly lean over to one side. Get this nice bend all the way outside the ribs down into your hips. So I'm going to do each side twice. So if you want to take it easy on the first time, on both sides. And then when we lean into the second stretch, you can try to go a little bit further. Okay. Don't overstretch. Again, just trying to loosen up certain areas. One more time. Okay, stay kneeling nice and tall and just twist. You can have the arms up a little bit if you want to. Just trying to encourage some movement there. You might be quite tight if you haven't done a lot of movement yet today. So you're just twisting like so. And then last stretch, just come over into this position. I'm just going to hinge back. So if your knees are underneath your hips and your hands are underneath your shoulders, I just want you to hinge back. Head goes down to the floor. You can walk the fingers out a little bit further. Get this nice stretch from your armpits down into your ribs, into your back. You can even claw a little bit on the mat, add some pressure, and back up. Okay, so we're going to start by lying on our backs. Um, so like I said, every exercise is going to have a partner exercise or a combo. So you're going to do 30 seconds of one thing, followed straight away by 30 seconds of another thing, quick break, and then we'll do it in a second time and move on. So first two exercises, all they are is upper abs, lower abs, okay? So when they're done back to back like that, you'll just feel this really strong burning sensation all down the front. Um, anytime you want, just stop and take a break, okay? Especially if the pressure is gone from the abs and into the lower back. So, first exercise, your hands will be up over your chest. You'll take a deep breath in, and as you come up, you'll exhale. Try lock the shoulders out like so, nice L position, and then lower yourself back down, okay? That will be your first exercise, 30 seconds of that. Once we've done, hands go onto the ground, straight away into your leg curls, like so, for lower abs, where the heels are just slightly off the ground. You curl them in, you wanna see the tailbone up off the floor and back up. Okay, so one minute, 30 and 30. Are we ready? Start with your full sit up. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathing out, and then inhale all the way back down. So you're trying to peel the body up one vertebrae at a time, and then back down, really smooth. Try never to kind of flop back on the mat. At all times, your abs are lowering yourself down and you're resisting gravity. Definitely gonna feel the focus of this or the main portion of this in the upper abs. Three seconds, two, one, finish that sit up, two hands onto the floor, straight into those leg curls, folks. Straight in, let's go. So, legs go out, fully extend them if possible. If you want, you could do a single leg version of this if that's too hard, okay? But for most of us, let's try double leg. Heels off the floor, hands taking some of the pressure here. Exhaling every time those knees come in. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs down. Relax. A few deep breaths. Now we're going to go straight back into that in a few seconds. Upper abs straight into lower abs. Okay, doing every exercise twice today. But it means after two minutes, that block is done with. Okay, a couple of deep breaths before we go again. If you're going into your full sit up, really focusing on the way down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Exhale. Up, inhale on the way back down. One vertebrae at a time, all the way till you get to your head back on the mat. And it's your abs that are doing most of that work. If you start to fatigue, you can pull your hands forward a little bit and your hands can pull you up a little bit. It's not gonna offer you a ton of help, but especially if technique starts to go, that can be a tool you can utilize. Three, two, one, finish that sit up, hands down, straight into your leg curls. Let's go, folks. 30 seconds. That tailbone must leave the floor. Here we go, really switching on those lower abs. You get a break in 10 seconds time. Try keep the technique. If you're not feeling this on the front, drop your legs, take a break. Four, three, two, and one, return those legs to the mat. Deep breaths, put some movement into your midsection, give it a wiggle if you need to. 
try and relax the abs completely. Okay, so there's your first two exercises done, okay? And we're just, like I said at the start, we're pairing certain exercises today just for maximum efficiency and to really kind of obliterate that one muscle or that one area. Okay, so our next one is gonna be diagonal kind of focus. So if our first one was just all down the front, okay, now we're working on this diagonal direction. So first exercise, you'll be in your mountain climber position. So like so, on your hands, nice plank position. Your right knee is gonna to come to your left elbow, left knee to the right elbow. Okay, so you're working diagonal underneath your body, a little bit of a twist in at the hip, but keep the shoulders the same. The second we finish our 30 seconds of those, we'll rotate around, elbow goes to the opposite knee, bicycle crunches. Okay, another diagonal direction, really challenging your, your lateral movement across that midsection. Okay, so it's quite tough to do right after what we've just done, but you'll feel a slight change in the stimulus, okay? So, into your mountain climber position, 30 seconds, straight into your back, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go folks, into your plank. Right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Now this does not have to be fast. We are not doing this for cardio. If anyone has any wrist problems, you can do this from the elbows if you want. It's a little bit more challenging. Okay, or you can just drop the knees every few seconds, take a break, let the wrists recover. There you go, knees tracking diagonally underneath the body, but keep those shoulders still. Four seconds, you're on your back. Three, two, one, rotate, get set up as quickly as you can. Elbow to the opposite knee. I've started, hopefully you have too. Twisting inwards and across. Lower half, cycling in and out. Twist, tension is burning big time here. Hopefully you're feeling it too. 10 seconds, folks. Twist one shoulder up each time. Five, four, three, two, and one, relax. That is a very tough combo to do. You'll definitely feel a lot of that in the upper abs, depending on how you hold yourself in the bicycle crunches. But wow, what a combo. So if I go quiet in this next round, you'll know what's happened. It's a lot of tension. Okay, we're going again in five seconds time. Get back into mountain climber position. Get ready, 30 and 30. Now you stop and take breaks as often as you need to. Two, one, let's go. Diagonal underneath the body, let's go. So this time, maybe just focus on keeping your shoulders as stable as you can. Okay, so imagine a tennis ball or a bottle of water, something balancing on your shoulders. So the knees can be, or sorry, the hips can be twisting a little bit. That's gonna happen with the nature of this movement. But keep those shoulders nice and stable. Here we go, four. Three, two, one, knees down, flip over. You know what's coming, bicycle crunches, one last time. Ready, go, twisting. Now you'll notice my leg is fully extended when I'm twisting to the opposite knee. So let's try and mirror that. So hopefully your knee is fully extended as well. Trying to work that full range. Whew. Keep going, keep going. One shoulder leaves the ground each and every time. Nearly there, last few seconds, folks. Don't speed it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, well done, well done. So if you want, maybe you take a quick breather, two knees up to the chest, switch off for a few seconds. And we're gonna move on to our next combo. So actually, we're gonna stay in the exact same position. Feet are now planted, so the soles of your feet are on the mat. Small gap between the knees. We're gonna have our shoulders off the ground. Now we're swapping the focus to our hips. So the shoulders are up and we're doing this lateral twist, or sorry, lateral kind of reach more than anything. We've done it before. The target is to get to your foot or your shoe or the back of your shoe. Not a lot of range, but really good for switching on those obliques. After we've done that, we're straight away flipping over. Okay, everybody is into the elbow position of a plank and the knee comes up on the outside like so. So you're now closer to the floor, which is gonna force your knee to come up to the side rather than underneath like this. Again, really good exercise for the hips, okay? Two exercises, folks. Start with your ankle taps. Ready, get set up. Three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders off the ground, and just a slow twist, left to right, tapping the foot or the shoe, just some sort of landmark that you can reach for. Now, this can kind of build up strain in the neck for some of you, especially if you're not used to holding yourself in this position. So if the neck strain gets a bit much, just rest down for a few seconds, let it recover and come back up, okay? Do your best as well to put a gap between your shoulders and your ears, so don't be hunched up like this. Keep that gap down. Nearly there, four, three, 
two, you know what's coming, one, flip over into your plank as quick as you can, we don't stop the clock, we just go straight into it. So I'm into my plank position, all the usual rules of a plank apply, you're still a nice straight line, abs are switched on, and the knees are coming up on the outside of the body. 10 seconds, let's go. Squeezing the glutes as well. Do whatever you can to keep that pressure off the lower back. Four, three, two, and one. Switch off, lean back. Well done, folks. A few seconds recovery, and then we go again. So in your recovery, just take your time. Get set up for that next exercise. We're doing our ankle taps. 30 and 30. Flying through it, folks. We're doing really good work. Ready? Three, two, one. Shoulders off the floor. Reach and reach. So a lot of people do this with a bit of speed. I'd rather you didn't. Just keep it smooth. If you do it with speed, chances are your momentum and your kind of springiness will take you through it. But we want to really focus on the obliques and the hips. Maybe even a little bit of the outside of the glute as well. So you're reaching, tapping, keeping it strict, controlled movement all the time. Deep breath in and out. Three seconds, we're flipping over. Two, one, let's go. Straight into it. Clock doesn't stop. Elbows down. Get into your plank. Knee up on the outside. Those of you struggling, you can, of course, do this on the knees. You could be doing something like this, okay, where the knee returns to the floor each and every time. If you've still got the energy, join me up here for the full one, okay? Knees up on the outside. Keep it slow. Keep it controlled. Final few seconds. This exercise is nearly done with. Four, three, two, one. And one, knees down, switch off. Whoo! So, the good news is, that's all the front done, so your abs are finished with, obliques finished with, okay? We're now just going to finish off with our last two exercises, our last pairing, and then for the glutes and the lower back, okay? So, first exercise, you're going to be in this position. All I want you to do is, I'll show you with my left leg, so you can see exactly what's happening. The knee is going to come off the ground, so it's just hovering, just my left leg, and I'm going to kick back up, not too high, but just enough to switch on my left glute, okay? If I go beyond my midline, it's no longer my glute that's doing it. So, the knee comes off the ground, you kick up till your hips want to twist, then you bring it back, like so. Real simple, 15 seconds left leg, 15 seconds right leg, then we lie flat, so it flows really nice, this exercise, okay? And we do opposite um, star crunches, okay? So, opposite arm, opposite leg, coming up off the ground, really targeting your lower back, and one glute, okay? So really important exercises to do, not super challenging, unless you've got an injury or kind of a weak lower back. Let's go, you're into your kind of tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's test that with our left leg. Three, two, one. Left knee comes off the floor, kick it back. The best way I can describe this is, imagine you're trying to put the sole of your foot on the ceiling, okay? But be really conscious, we're using our left leg right now, be really conscious of what that right hip is doing. It shouldn't be twisting, it shouldn't be rotating. Four, three, two, one. Right leg off the ground, let's go. And it comes back to where it started each and every time, but you don't touch the knee on the floor. Kicking up towards the ceiling. Good, three, two, one. Lie flat, everything on the mat. Okay, hands out to the sides, maybe around 90 degrees, and off we go. So, opposite arm, opposite leg coming up off the floor. Your chest will rise and fall on the floor. And you're really trying to target that lower back area and one glute at a time. Keep it smooth. Don't jerk the movement up off the floor. <sighs> Nearly there. Last few seconds, folks. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Well done. Shift your weight back. Quick recovery. You won't need too much of a recovery from this one. Okay. Here we go. Last 60 seconds. You're finished after this. Back to our kickbacks or our... Uh, donkey kicks, as some people call them. Three, two, one. Let's go. Knee hovers. Kick up towards the ceiling. Be really mindful of what the spine and the hips are doing. They shouldn't be twisting. They shouldn't be moving. Just one leg. That's all that's happening. Four, three, two, one. Shift. Readjust your body weight if you need to. But make sure that upper body is nice and still. Same as earlier on. Imagine you have a tennis ball or a bottle of water on your back. You should be able to stay there while you do this kickback. Three, two, one. Last exercise, folks. Lie flat, hands out, opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Now make sure the other two limbs are staying on the floor. 
So it's important to raise two, but don't be complacent with the other two. Make sure they stay down, adding a little bit of resistance to the rise itself. Nearly there, nearly there. Last few reps, nice easy exercise to finish off on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pop up, shift your weight back, and switch off for a few seconds. Really, really good work. So what we'll do is, we'll do a really good stretch. So if you're like me, you're definitely still feeling those first few ab exercises. So let's lie completely flat to get one really, really good stretch. Two hands in as if you're about to do a press up. Hips are gonna stay down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in and slowly push up. Breathe out and put no tension in your abs at all. So relax the abs completely. Get this really nice stretch. Kind of starts up in your chest, but goes right down through the abs and into the hips. Okay, and do the opposite shift back into child's pose. Okay, we do one more. Lie flat, deep breath before you push, and then exhale as you push. You can even put in a little bit of twist if you need to kind of focus more on one side than the other. And send it back last time. And relax. Super work, everyone. Well done. So hopefully you've got a kind of a different style of workout to what we've been doing the previous weeks. Um, working off that premise of two exercises, back to back, no recovery, straight into but I've picked pretty precise ones that do a very similar job. So by the time you get to that second batch of 30 seconds, you're already somewhat fatigued. Um, so if you found it easy enough, you know what to do. Rewind, start it again, or add a bit of time or sets, either or. Um, otherwise, hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, hope you're feeling something down here. If you followed this workout on YouTube or Instagram, wherever you've seen it, make sure you give us a shout out, okay? And I'll see you next week.